I am so tired. Can you tell by the fact that I just rolled out of bed with no makeup and whoopsies. Going to the office looking like this. We have a photo shoot this afternoon, so I thought, yeah, that should go. Get some work done, and then we'll go back and look a little better. Koki's tired too. Yes, she is, aren't you, Koki? You see Koki? Let's get some Diet Coke, maybe that'll help. So yesterday was a full, full day. Signed a new listing on Main Street, went and took the photos, met with the uh, friend of mine there who's currently the tenant, talked to her a little bit, sweet, sweet lady. Um, got the listing live, got the rest of the paperwork signed, signed up a, a what do you call it, a renewed a listing that was expiring, it was actually expired, then worked on interviewing, because you know we're interviewing for a sales manager, so talked to a couple of people, that took a couple of hours, a second interview with one, set one of them come, to come back today to interview with our coach at, per his request. So we did that. Um, uh, what else did we do? There's a hundred other things. Because I do. We had. We actually had the title company come in and do a wonderful training yesterday that I would have loved to have attended. But I literally had meetings all throughout it, so I didn't get to do that. That's okay. Uh, the agents all did, and they learned a lot. I know they enjoyed it. Now, uh, then I went last night uh, at 6:30 to a. Uh, the, the Democrats had like a, a candidates forum. You'd call it like a political candidates for a city council and mayor. Went to that. That was about two and a half hours. Uh, then after that, Wes had been playing golf with a client and a friend. And he showed up at the very end. So we went to Whataburger and got some Whataburgers, which is, you know, a really great health choice. We've got to do better than that. So we're going to step it up. Give us time. We're, we're getting there. We're going to start eating healthier. This is ridiculous. So it's coming. Today, on tap, uh, on top of all the other things we all have to do in life, I have to go do some more work on our uh, tax audit for our random research audit that we've been selected for um, and pull and spend probably four or five more hours pulling taxes. Receipts from 2015 from every little thing that happened, trying to figure out what it was, document it. So that's almost like a part-time job right there. So I got to work on taxes this morning, then doing a photo shoot for a direct mail campaign we're starting soon. So those of you in real estate have probably done a direct mail campaign or two. This one I think is going to be pretty clever and I'll share it with you as we do it. But we're starting with photos. So that's today. Uh, we were going to do our first podcast episode today, but I cannot wait to get the podcast going. But I just we just can't push it. I'm sorry, Coco still got some a few problems yeah it's, it's spa time for you Coco you're behind um, so the podcast is coming soon but I, you know I just don't want to I don't want to do it until I have the topic right until I have the guests right and until I have the outline prepared it's got to be good so that's what we're working on at noon we have our coaching call which we have weekly our Tom Ferry coach who is amazing this is our new coach we've had another coach for a couple of years who she is also amazing but she recently said, y'all need a new coach. We're like, what, you firing us? You don't want to be our coach anymore? And as soon as she said that, I said, I have a feeling why, why she's doing it. Because I, I'm afraid, I think our, uh, I can do this, y'all. I'm not driving, obviously. I'm in line at McDonald's. So I can pick a cocoa. Uh, I said, I think, I think our strengths are the same. We're both really good, like at the marketing and warmth side. I think what we need really is somebody that's good at the spreadsheet, get things done side. Um, accountability side and that's what we have now so we're really excited this will be our third week with our new coach and he's the one who told us you must have a sales manager and you need one now so he's going to interview our top candidate today we'll see how that goes I got some really cute pictures of Coco for y'all this morning she loves every morning she's such the little creature of habit every morning she goes up to our bonus room and we've got like these little twin beds kind of built into the uh, dormers you'd call you know the overlook she loves the one that overlooks the pool and she sits there and dozes and watches birds fly around. So that's what she was doing as usual this morning. And I got some really cute pictures of her little pink nose. We're going to have a big Coco announcement soon. Um, somebody that we're adding to the fold. That's all I'll say for right now. So if you're watching, you're getting advance notice of that. But that info is coming soon. Coco's going to have a friend. Poor Coco, you almost got it. So that's what we did. Um, 
yesterday, this morning, got up, got cocoa. We're going to do taxes till noon. We're going to do the photo shoot. We're not going to do the podcast yet because it's not quite ready. I um, want to put the finishing touches on my speech on technology in real estate and innovation. Oh, she's excited when the window goes down, y'all. And then, what else is on the calendar for today? I don't know because the calendar's on my phone. And I really do four, four uh, hour time blocks and I saw that I don't have to look good to one o'clock. So this is what I'm going to look for right now. I'll let y'all know later. Oh, I got too many dollars in the corner. Large Diet Coke, please. Will that be all for you? That'll be all. Went no away. All right. So, just letting you know how the real life goes. Uh, sometimes it ain't pretty. Sometimes it looks a little crazy. And sometimes Coco is just so tired. She can just barely get it together to go riding in there, right, baby girl? To go. Oh, look at her, though. She's always perfect. She always wakes up perfect. Even when she's tired, she's such a sweet girl. You ever see anything so pretty as your life as this baby? So, uh, of course, more political conversation going on all the time. Most people last night at this debate were pretty were pretty de uh, decent. There were uh, one or two that were just horrid and you just wanted to punch them in the face. Just because, you know, the kind of people that go, oh, I didn't ask for an explanation, it's a yes or no question. What? You know, who, where do you get off telling people they got to give you a yes or no? Sometimes, do you support the sports park? That's not a yes or no question. It's like, at a certain price, I support it. At a certain price, I don't support it. So, uh, but most of the people were nice and polite. There was just a, you know, the usual wackadoodle. Uh, but other than that, everybody was great. I think Tim and Jim and Mo did an amazing job. Prouder of them than ever. Prouder to be supporting them than ever. Um, they made their points very clear. They were very down to earth, very human, very likable enjoyed uh, getting to visit with them a little bit. So remember our slogan Cocoa hair in my mouth? I think so. Remember our slogan is Tim and Jim and Mo. Tim and Jim and Mo. Tim and Jim Tim and Jim. Tim and Jim and Mo. Let's go. And Coco. What if Coco could run? That'd be pretty alright, right? Coco, we'll waste enough time with these good people. Let's tell these good people we're not too prepared so we're going to say goodbye. Say bye Coco. <laughs> little monkey. Talk to y'all guys later.